पेज नंबर फिफ्टी नाइन सिप्रैक्ट थ्री डिजिट नंबर्स फ्रॉम थ्री डिजिट नंबर्स विद बोरविंग जकी हैज थ्री फिफ्टी वन सैक्स ऑफ वीट ही हैज सोल्ड वन सिक्सटी नाइन सैक्स हाउ मेनी सैक्स आर लेफ्ट विद हिम राइट थ्री फिफ्टी वन द बिगेस्ट नंबर एट द टॉप वन सिक्सटी नाइन एट द बॉटम यू हैव you cannot subtract 9 from 1 you borrow 110 from 5 from the next number this becomes 11 11 minus 9 is 2 here it is 4 you cannot subtract 6 from 4 so what are you going to do next yes borrow the number from the next number it is 100 So borrow one hundred here. It becomes fourteen tens. Fourteen minus six is eight. So here you are left with two. Two minus one is one. You are left with one eighty-two sacks. Now do the rest of the sums yourself. Try them. Moving on to the next page. There are the story problems. A shopkeeper sold five hundred and forty-five eggs on Monday and four hundred and ninety-nine eggs on Tuesday. How many eggs did he sell in two days? A shopkeeper sold five forty-five eggs on Monday. Then on Tuesday, he sold four hundred and ninety-nine. How many eggs did he sell in two days? What are you going to do? Which operation will you select, plus or minus? Yes, you are going to select addition because you have to find out the total number of eggs that shopkeeper had sold. Five forty-five, four ninety-nine. Five plus nine is fourteen. Write four here. Carry forward one. This becomes fourteen. Write four here and carry forward one. This becomes. Six plus four ten, so one thousand forty-four eggs he had sold in a in two days. Now you can try the rest of the sums yourself. Coming to page sixty-one, subtraction of numbers using mental strategy. Now subtract ten from twenty-five using mental strategy. As we have done earlier. You have to. We have twenty-five minus ten. Now you just split twenty-five into ones and tens. In twenty-five, how many tens and ones are here? There are two tens and five ones. Now subtract one ten from two tens. You are left with one ten plus five. This is fifteen. Again, subtract twelve from thirty-nine using mental strategy. Now take the bigger number. This is thirty-nine. What is the first step? You split them into tens and ones. This is three tens and nine ones. Again, you split twelve into tens and ones. This becomes one ten and two ones. Now, first of all. You subtract ones from ones. Nine minus two is seven, and then you subtract tens from tens. You have three tens, one ten. You, if you subtract, you are left with two tens. So this is two tens and seven ones. You are going to learn it through practice. Try rest of the sums. You doing it yourself. Moving on to page sixty-five. multiplication what is multiplication multiplication is repeated addition of the same number for example 2 plus 2 plus 2 is equals to 6 there are three rings each ring has two keys in all there are six keys here 2 is added three times we read it as 3 times 2 is equals to 6 we can write it as 3 multiplied by 2 is equals to 6 now coming 
to the next example there are four pen stands and how many pens are there on each stand yes there are three pens on each stand in all there are 12 pens here three is added four times so we read it as four times three is equals to 12 and we write it as 4 multiplies and put a symbol of multiplication 3 is equals to 12 now coming to the next there are 4 bicycles and each bicycle has 2 tires so 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 is equals to 8 in all there are 8 tires here 2 is added 4 times so we read it as 4 times 2 this becomes 8 and we write it as 4 multiplied by 2 is equals to 8 come on now fill in the boxes in our hand how many fingers do we have yes we have 5 fingers how many hands are shown here 3 hands so each hand has 5 fingers 5 plus 5 plus 5 is equals to 15. Now look at the next. How many boxes are here? Yes, 3. And how many balls are there in each box? 4. So it is 4 plus 4 plus 4 is equals to 12. Do the rest yourself. Adding the same number repeatedly is called multiplication. The sign for multiplication is cross. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is equals to 12. Here 3 is added 4 times. So 4 groups of 3 each are 12. We read it as 4 multiplied by 3 is equals to 12. So 3 plus 3 plus 3 is equals to 12. Is same as 4 multiplied by 3 is equals to 12. 4 multiplied by 3 is equal to 12. 12 is a multiplication fact in 4 multiplied by 3 is equals to 12 12 is called the product of 4 and 3 2 plus 2 is equals to 4 is the same as 2 multiplied by 2 is equals to 4 2 plus 2 plus 2 is equals to 6 is same as 3 multiplied by 2 is equals to 6 how many boxes are here yes there are five boxes and how many flowers are there in each box yes four each so we write it as five multiplied by four is equals to 20. now how many groups of butterflies are here one two three four five Yes, you write here 5 in the first box. And how many butterflies are there in each group? There are 6 butterflies. So 5 into 6 is equals to 30. Do the rest as we have done this. Count in steps of 2, 3, 4, 5 and 10. Counting in steps of 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So there are 20 cherries. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. This is how you are going to do it.